Hey man, I'm Kevin Smith. Welcome back to Sundance 2019. Look, it's the director and the cast of Loose. Give it up for him, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Sir, take us into the movie. What is this picture about? Uh, Loose is about uh, an upper middle class white couple that adopt a young man from Eritrea who is a former child soldier. The kid becomes this incredible student and a symbol in the community. But um, he writes this paper at the beginning of the story that pretty much advocates political violence, and it kind of turns his relationship with his parents and his teachers upside down. And from there, it starts this roller coaster of a journey that you know changes all these people's lives. Oh, another one of those movies. This Comedy. sounds startlingly <laughs> original, man. Like, when I read the breakdown, I was like, wow, that's really great. Where's it come from? It was based on a play written by a really talented guy named J.C. Lee, and then he and I adapted it together. Um, and we were very fortunate to get this amazing group of people to, to do the movie. Let's get into the amazing group of people. Sir, you've been up here before, no? I'm familiar. <laughs> yeah, as you become a Sundance kid, what's it like to be back in this role? It's cool. It's different this time. Um, this is a really exciting project, but also really like, complex. So, it's yeah, I'm excited to be back, and I'm excited to be here for Lucy. How do you research a role like this? Um, I did. A, I, I watched Beasts of No Nation. <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> I just watched. I, I went I, to I, Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> I also watched like a lot of, of videos and documentaries about um, um it start kid child soldiers and and what's it like to kind of be adopted and, and grow up and so reading a bunch of books, what read a lot of fans for know. And um, yeah, that was, that was pretty much it. Just trying to get in the the mindset of of where loose is it where loose is at. This is what your third fourth year up here in a row. No, I mean, I've only been here, this is my second year back. Last year you had three movies yeah. or something? That was it. I saw like a number of titles and stuff. <laughs> um, what is it like in terms of uh, going into film where it, it's not necessarily mainstream? This is going to be seen by very select, smart group of people. Word gets out and travels around the world and stuff. But, you know, it's, we're in a rarefied breathing capacity up here. What's it like being in an art film? Well, it's a lot of words. I'm sorry. It's early and I'm so stoned. <laughs> what is it like being in an art film? Yeah. Uh, it's, I mean, it's good. I, mean, I feel like every film I've done has been an art film. Yeah. I've never really been in a commercial film. So um, I, I think it's exciting. It's exciting to kind of celebrate um, indie filmmaking, and that's what Sundance is about. And uh, yeah, it's cool. Fantastic. Kids, I look at you, and it feels like I'm looking at <laughs> funny games. Whoa. <laughs> like, it's so weird. I remember watching Funny Games and being very terrified, and then when you both sat down, I was like, oh, God, it's a sequel. Um, <laughs> it kind of is. It's still terrifying. Yeah, it's terrifying. You guys can't play a normal We're couple terrified. ever. <laughs> um, if you know it? of anything, we take recommendations. Yeah, we <laughs> I hear that there's movies in town going around. You can play a woman that sees two little people come out from under a door. But you've done that before. I was a massive Mohan uh, uh, drive fan. Uh, I, big, big fan. All right, let's talk about this movie, man. How do you approach playing these characters? Do you ask somebody? Is there people you can meet with? Or you just kind of go like, look, I've been acting 30, 40 fucking years. I'll go to Netflix. It'll work out just great. <laughs> go for it. What, me? Yeah. Um, I didn't do any research, really. I, I, um, I mean, I, w I read it and was sort of was hooked. So, so it felt, what it did to me was sort of ask me a ton of questions about myself in a way about whether I'm is there any sort of, is there still any racism in there? Is there, you know, as a, as a couple, as, a, as, as people that think they've figured it all out, are they, are they, um, are they corrupted by what they thought they'd left behind? Or, so I thought it was very interesting. On fire, man. What a great answer. You've got to follow that. <laughs> I don't know. It's early. Go for it, Noam. He it's put some thought into it. Yeah, I think that the, the exact same thing. These, um, this couple are very liberal thinking. They feel like they've done something very meaningful um, by taking on this kid who's um, come from a very different world and they've done all the work that they feel is enough and that they're well equipped to to take this on and then they're forced into this situation that is um, a, a big challenge and huge questions come up and as Tim said we're forced to rethink our understanding of this and um, and perhaps we're not as adjusted as we thought we were. Do you, uh, this is just uh, off topic, but you guys worked together once before. Now you're working together now. Do you like? We do don't like each other. <laughs> yeah, obviously. We really don't. Forced into the situation. But offensive. between projects, do you like talk to each other, or is it just no. like, oh, I haven't no, seen no, you in ten years? Never would. I, in fact, no. I'm I, it's awful that he's sitting yeah, next we, to me. Yeah, we, we try to. <laughs> Naomi almost left the project when Tim was coming. Yeah, out. Dude, she I was know. Like, Octavia, hey, yeah. Octavia was in. That was the draw. Then Tim <laughs> came and was like, oh, nothing. Nice. Um, um, no, we we. Um, Great friends. Obviously. Ew. Uh, 
Um, Tim, I want to give you a shout out because uh, my mother referenced you recently. My mother went through this procedure where she had a hi hiatal hernia. Oh, yeah. So her, her stomach was up in her chest. Uh, and so it was really bad surgery. And when I was hanging out with her afterwards in recovery, recovery was apparently pretty bad. And she was like, I'm in pain. I'm in so much pain, Tiger. That's what she calls me. You don't understand. She goes, I'm like that boy in Reservoir Dogs. <laughs> you were that boy in Reservoir Dogs, yeah, man. man. Comedic pain. Yes, and she remembered it from that movie, and she identified with it. That's a strong performance that was right here. there. Um, speaking of Quentin, you saw that ham-fisted segue. Uh, yeah, well done. Are you in uh, working in uh, Once Upon a Time in America? He's all done? Yes. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? Sorry. Yeah. How was it to be back with your buddy? It was, it was great. I mean, it was a, we just came through, a bunch of us came through to do little pieces for him right. to get the old, old sort of team together again. And uh, it, he was firing. It's wild. because Firing it's, people? It, no. It, <laughs> actually. <laughs> but um, no, he was really going. It was, it, because it's about movies. And he's sort of, sort of, that's his love of his life. So yeah, it was great. Very, very really, really good. Um, you got cast in the Game of Thrones prequel in which winter's not coming. It's just making out really hard. What, is, uh, what details can you give us? Probably absolutely nothing. Yeah, zero. Zero. Boy, oh boy, man, that NDA yeah. is strong, <laughs> super strong. Look at you. Um, it was it a cool thing? Was it a thrilling I'm thing? Super excited. Um, yeah, it will. Yeah, very exciting. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you love that job. When do you guys screen? We screen this afternoon at 3 p.m. Uh, you look. What is the feeling in, in before a screening? I've done that before, and it's always like nauseating. It's like knots that. in your stomach. I yeah. mean, you know, I'm just really proud of the work this cast did because it's a really performance-driven movie, and you know, I think it's bigger than just a small indie as well. There's components of it that are going to be accessible to an audience. So uh, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that we have a great afternoon today. Oh my God, man! What He's terrified. He's terrified. Yeah, you can hear Tim his had voice. To, Tim had to walk, talk me off like jumping off of a, on Friday night. Like he just held my hand for four hours and. Aww. I cried into his lap. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but how tremendous, Tim. Compliments all around for Tim. Uh, there it is, folks. Give it up for the director and the cast of Los!